thank you for watching. Um, I just wanted to go ahead and show you um, some of my work areas. So for those of you who are getting interested in selling your miniatures, whether you're doing dollhouse or whether you're doing um, jewelry like me, I figured you can see part of my areas. Uh, here is a necklace tree that I use at my fairs. And then um, I'm going to show you some of my materials here. I just tend to keep canes in um, a box. I have canes that I've made, canes that um, I've purchased. As you can see here, I purchased, uh, actually I think this was a free gift that I got from Miniature Suite. Um, but I've purchased some of my canes from them. Uh, let's see, this is my container for my Walnut Hollow, but I have blades in it, frosting tips, all sorts of stuff, the lasagna noodles that I haven't used. Like I said, a lot of times, if you're doing the polymer clay items for sale, you don't want to waste. So oftentimes when I'm making, for instance, this was a cheesecake crust, I will just go until I run out of the clay that I conditioned for it, so I don't waste it. And then here, this was um, pieces where when I shredded it was the coconut, if you saw the strawberry video. Now um, I have pastels here. I do use the pastels. I have glitter. I have micro beads. And then I even have this interesting stuff. It's, um, you can't see it in here, but it's like blocking sort of powder. I have powdered food colorings. I have my Pearl X containers, which is what I used on the butterflies. The one for the blue was um, True Blue. You can see that. I have sand, I have marbles, shot glasses, um, gold leaf for other techniques I used to do with polymer clay, watercolors, I have acrylic paints, I have a whole bunch of paint brushes and my toothbrush for texturing. Then I have some nice little glass and a mirror plates. Um, these are all glass and I use these for one of my Christmas candies. I make peppermints with them. I'll show you that as we get closer to the holidays, if you'd like to see them. Here's sand. You never know when you're going to need decorator sand. I use decorator sand. I use glitter. A whole bunch of stuff. Um, I'm going to show you just a couple more things from this area here. This is a really big tray of glitter. Um, I keep track of it easier just by leaving it in the container. This is uh, the company Re Recollections which did the butterfly cutter and the leaf cutter that I did a few tutorials on. Um, I love to save my coupons from Michael's where you get the 40 or 50 percent off one item and that's when I get my big items like this glitter or the walnut hollow extruder. And then here is the big guy. This is uh, my polymer clay toaster oven here. It's from Cuisinart. I love it. It's digital. So there's my panel. It has a timer built in. And not only that, but it actually takes its own temperature while you're cooking. So for some reason, if it cools down or it gets a little too warm, it regulates itself and gets back to the proper temperature. So that's one of my little work areas there. And, um, let's see, we'll walk slowly down to my other work areas. Okay, I have my postal meter, I have my pasta roller. These are actually the boxes that I ship my charms and necklaces in. And these big guys over here all of those containers right there are containers that have miniature foods or crystals and glass beads and components for putting the jewelry together. And then the very bottom one has tools in it. But let's see. I try to stay pretty organized. 
as you can see I separate my foods this is one that you guys haven't seen yet this is my cookies and cream inspired cake and then let's see, I'm hoping that I'm not too close to film all this. These right here, the shot glasses, are full of TLS and clay for nachos and for um, frosting, dark chocolate drizzle. Here I have flour, cornstarch, cocoa powder, and spices. I use spices in some of my clay items. And here is my triple thick, as you can see it. I do have some of the Sculpey new gloss glazes. I have the satin because I do use it to make sure that some of the surface glitter sticks sometimes. But um, I do hope they replace the old stuff. I have my Fimo Deco Gel and I have my TLS. I have Mold Maker. And then there's a pie tin of clay I haven't organized yet. Here are containers where I store all of my um, all of my charms and jewelry when I go to fairs. Actually, I'll show you how I package them for fairs. When I package my items for fairs, I usually package them like this. If people buy online, they get them in the boxes to protect them during shipping. So these are some waffles I made probably about a year and a half ago. But um, the containers here, they're the perfect size for putting them in. So just figured that I'd go ahead and, and show you how I am organized. I work off of a coffee table sitting on the floor. Um, you can feel free to ask me any questions you like. These aren't all of my supplies, but they're most of them. So um, I just want to show you, thanks so much.